Hello everyone. So, if you remember in our previous class we discussed the Cisco eyes. So now we have the idea about the Cisco eyes. It is used for identity purpose also in the network. We are using for AAA purpose also in the network. Generally, we are using for CCNP this one as a AAA server. Okay, but Cisco eyes can do so many things. As we discussed in our previous class, later we are going to see many operation, many settings in the Cisco eyes. Now just discuss some uh, basic uh, terms like identity. Identity we already know that one. Example, like uh, if I say, if you go somewhere, if you say I am ABC, if you say your name is ABC or any name, they will not accept. They are uh, asking you to give your identity. Maybe you will show your passport or any national ID card or any card. Okay. So in simple words, identity is nothing but we need to give proof that we are uh, with the help of national ID or maybe with the passport, we need to submit something so we can prove our identity. We know that one. And then we have the identity store in the Cisco eyes. Why? What we are saying? We are saying Cisco eyes. We are using for identity. And if I show you, let me show you. If you see here this point, as we told the Cisco eyes is used for the identity, this one, another is a context. These two purpose we are using mainly for Cisco eyes. So identity means Cisco eyes is going to uh, ask the identity to the device or the user, whoever connecting to our network. Okay. The user or any device, whoever is connecting to our network, Cisco eyes is going to ask them to prove them. Uh, give them identity proof. Okay, so what we can say identity proof is nothing but user need to give his use login detail or we have different uh, method to proof uh, like uh, we have active directory LDAP and OTP server smart card. We have different methods to prove that one to give the identity. Anyhow, let's see what we are saying. First thing is identity. Now we have the idea what is identity. Now we are going to look for the identity store. A store is nothing but like same as we have generally example we are saying a store we have a store we store all the goods there. Same thing here in the Cisco as we have the identity store is a database that authenticate a user or the end points credential. So what we will say, we will have one database where we will store all the user detail or uh, in other, another words, what we can say identity store could be an internal database or external database. If we are using internal database, we can use for AAA server. We can use from internal way also, or we can have the external way also like we can integrate our active directory. 90% organization, they are integrating the active directory to the Cisco eyes. So whenever Cisco eyes need to identify any device or any user, he will check with the active directory. Okay. So what we can say identity store could be internal database or it can be external database. Cisco eyes support the internal identity database as well as the external identity database. Just in simple words, like whenever any device is connecting to our network or any user need is connecting to our network, they need to give the identity. So Cisco eyes can verify from the uh, local database or they can verify from the external database. So what external database we will have, we will have the active directory AD or LDAP we have or OTP server or smart card or CA. So with this way, our Cisco eyes can verify. What he will verify? He will verify the identity. In the 90%, many companies are integrating the Cisco eyes with the Microsoft Active Directory. Okay, so this is one method, Active Directory. And also we can have multiple method also. We can integrate Active Directory and also LDAP and OTP and all the feature also we can integrate. First Cisco eyes will check in the internal database. If he cannot find the information, he will go to, go to Active Directory. Then he will go to LDAP and he will go to OTP like this way also it can go. What is LDAP is nothing but lightweight directory access protocol. It is a open standard application protocol. Okay. And OTP one time password service server. 
and a smart card also some organization are using the smart card later we are going to look how we can install also now i am giving the theory maybe with the theory you are facing issue no issue in coming classes we are going to do the lab also we are going to learn how we can install the cisco eyes also how we can install the cisco eyes no worries this is a important point that's why i i am saying you here in this one later what we will do we will install the cisco eyes in the gns3 evng or in the vmware workstation and we will do the lab okay so no need to have a worry or no need to worry anything let me show you here if you see i have the cisco eyes if you see here i install the cisco eyes here whenever we install we need to log in okay later we are going to look how we can install and how we can do everything we are going to verify example i want to check like uh, what is ip for my cisco eyes okay if i want to check what is my ip for the cisco eyes i will write like this let me write here show if you have confusion let me zoom in okay let me zoom in here and i will show you here maybe zoom in is not working here anyhow let me show you here when i press this one this interface is not found the interface is zero okay if you see what i have in this interface i have the ip address 192.168.65.200 okay this is the ip address if you see this is the ip address okay this is the ip address i have here that is uh, 192.168 okay or any see here what i am saying this is our ip address 192.168.65.200 we need to type this ip address in the browser so we can access this one okay see here when i type uh, this ip address in the browser i have the login prom here and if you want to verify also what we can write here in this place we need to write show application status eyes when you type this one it will take some time and after that it will show you application server is running okay here if you see here it is giving initializing it will show you running so it then then only when it is running then only you can uh, access this one so now i have the admin is the username and password i keep the different we can keep any password and then i will press enter so i can log in the cisco eyes okay identity service engine the name of the cisco eyes is identity service engine okay why we are saying this name because they have this name but you already know right cisco eyes is a network term which is stand for cisco identity service engine and we can say security policy management platform we have this one okay so if you see we will have like this and then we will say accept and close when you log in you will have this types of dashboard okay this types of dashboard in ya in the cisco eyes and if you go in the administration and if you see identity management identity if you go here you have the identity you have the user also we can create the user i created to user admin one support one like that we can create the user with the login detail so whenever user is using this login detail uh, it will come to cisco eyes he will going to identify and he is going to check the authentication authorization everything everything is okay then that guy guy can log into our network so later we are going to see all this option now no need to worry by seeing so many thing here just remember in administration then we have identity management then we have identity so we go here as we are discussing here identity identity means device or the user need to prove that he is identity he is belongs to that network cisco eyes is going to verify if everything is good he is going to access the network so cisco eyes is having the identity store we are calling identity store is nothing but database okay identity store is nothing but database that authorize the user or endpoint cred credential okay it can be external or it can be internal internal also we can have internal means in cisco eyes we will create the username and password as i created here how we will create just click here and you can give the username uh, name of the guy and the email id and you can put the login like password if you want to use internal user you can take internal user if you want to put the active directory you want to fetch the user from active directory we will select this active directory 
but in generally in our lab we will use the internal user we will put the username password we will give here and we will create the user and we will add the user in the group he belongs to which group it group or admin group or whatever group group also we can create okay so this way we can add the user also in the cisco eyes so what we are saying uh, identity store is nothing but database which is used to authenticate the user or the endpoint okay endpoint or the uh, devices the endpoint is nothing but devices laptop iphone or uh, ip phone printer all that one we can verify we can use the mac authentication also with the mac address also we can do the authentication for the printer scanner later we are going to see that one okay and we will have the internal means we will create the user inside the cisco eyes external means we can use the active directory ldap otp and so many option available but mostly we are using active directory we are going to integrate the active directory in the cisco eyes okay so in vmware workstation i install the cisco eyes that is 2.7.0 we can use any version if you want to use old version use the old version concept is important new version is having new features some more extra tabs here and there but concept is same okay and if you see when we run the command this one here show application status eyes if you see here it is giving the running okay let me take and show you here by my pen if you see here it is giving here this is applications okay server and if you see running when you have this application server is running then you can log in the your chrome google chrome or the browser whatever browser you want to access okay so with this command first of all we need to verify show application status eyes when you type this one after that if everything is okay this all are running then you can type this ip address what ip how you you will get the ip means uh, i already configure here later i am going to show you also how we can install how we can do everything i am going to show you but let me show you how we can check the ip see i will write show interface gigawa ethernet zero okay uh, when i type this one i am getting the ip address here okay this is a ip address if you see this is ip address so i need to type this ip in the browser so i can access the gui of the cisco eyes okay cisco i eyes so no need to worry this is very simple very easy we can do easily okay so in our next class what we will do we will learn how we can install the cisco eyes in the gns3 or evng or we can install in the vmware workstation vmware workstation is very fast if we install in the workstation it will boot very fast if we do in the evng or gns3 it will take lot of time anyhow we will see we will learn all three way and which one is good for you you can use that one no issue okay so this one is okay and if you see here we have lot of option here uh, here policy if you see main tabs here if you see here home uh, here context operation policy administrator work center we have different option here uh, one by one we are going to check which option for what like that all okay here the endpoints guess and all this one we are going to check one by one okay thank you bye